place. What I like about that is that he's actually taking ultimate seriously. Yeah, it's, it's a really cool thing to witness. And I think again, New York has a pretty solid New York scene or melee scene, mm -hmm. and I think people from that scene and then from the PM scene as well, the old PM scene, coming into Ultimate and playing this game and enjoying the game for yeah. one is, is huge, I think. And again, bringing the community together, I think, is what a lot of people expected from this game. I think it's... Yeah. Well, technically, to all tournaments are PM because that's the evening, because that's what you were talking you know, about. Right. So, yeah, we're going to yeah. jump into Loser's Top yeah. 6. As, as, as if... As good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But we are starting off in Palutena versus Rob, Jen versus Dill. Dill, this is what we expected. Jen, however, has been going mostly Fox today, and I was speaking with him beforehand of this set, and he was like, man, I don't want to go Fox Rob. I'm going to go Palutena. I, I agree with that decision, man. Get that disjointed hitbox, because you're going to need it against this dude. My man's arms are a disjointed hitbox. You yes. need something to counteract that. Oh, so it's getting the blast zone. And your Palu's nice, bro. Use Palu. Yeah, and again, I understand the, uh, the switch to Fox. I think Fox is more fitting for Jen in terms of how he wants to play the game. Because mm -hmm. uh, Jen, he, he likes to get in your head. He likes to move around you. How did he can do that, but Fox has the hitboxes and the speed for it. And I, so. I agree with the going the Fox and the winner's side. Now, mm -hmm. now that they're down and losers, like, okay, go back to Palu. Yeah. You, you tried it out, and it's good to get that practice in. Yeah. I think and he was saying this. Oh, you dropped your block. Yeah, I don't know if you tried to like go, let go, uh, shield, go for a grab, maybe go for a jump instead. Yeah. But regardless, Dill's gonna call it out with a forward smash. Speaking of Dill, it is beautiful seeing this man play Rob again. Yes. I am so happy. Not only is he playing his brawl main, he is playing the brawl Rob skin. Which yeah, is, I think the best. The the the, the um, Famicom. Famicon, Famicon, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. always a treat. The yeah. Japanese Ooh. version. Ah, uh, okay. old side B, new down B by Jen, looking fantastic. Oh, thought he was going to get that forward air for a second. Going to pop him up with that down tilt. Not going to be able to get the follow up instead. Dill's going to bury my man. Up tilt. Nice All of this Ooh, damage. Rocks. Yeah, but the, 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 that um, up air dropping is pretty huge. Allowed Jen to get stage control. Putting himself back in position to ledge chop Rob. Rob, his biggest weakness, not as neutral, not as advantage. They most certainly disadvantage. Big body, kind of mediocre speed and air mobility. S you know, slow hitboxes, big ones. Oh, jeez Louise. I mean, he just crossed him up. Get the back air. Push him. Send him flying with those rocket jumps, man. And the placement by the gyro there was brilliant by uh, Dill. Did not allow Jen to follow up after that detail on the ledge. Dash tech, not enough. Love his big boy. Yeah, he was trying to catch Jen's landing with that side B. Side B being rotor arm, such a good move. It just tacks on so much damage, has the ability to get confirmed into, has the ability to go for a kill instead. You know, honestly, if you're going to chill in that yeah. exact spacing, you're asking for that explosive ah. flame. That's exactly what Jen's going to respond with. There, this should be a couple strings with that move. 41%, that's the classic. Able to use the PS2 platform in order to kind of confirm that even further. Ooh, no jump. Does he go off? Now, the thing is, with when Rob goes for up B, uh, like, he can't commit to air dodge anymore. No. So, like, it's really hard to deal with auto reticle. Yeah. He has to mash, or he has to just sit, sit there and wait, so. Grab. Gonna that's bury him. him. Oh, oh, swap throw instead. I like that. He puts himself in a position that can catch the landing. He does so right there. Puts himself on the stage. There. No, okay. I like Gen that Jen wasn't committal to anything. Oh, that's robbed Ooh. again. He, Rob got robbed, dude. Yeah. He, he, he fell out of the up with, air. With, with, you know, that's obviously a DI mix up the way that Dill is moving. So, oh, it's going to be stock. Side yeah. B catches the let go of ledge double jump. Get taken away game number one, going to yeah. Dill. Now, the thing is, I felt that Jen was playing out of his mind at the beginning of that game. Yeah. He, he was playing pretty on point. He knew exactly what the game plan was, and he was establishing it. But then Dill. The thing is, Dill. The way that he plays neutral, and he has played this way in neutral from four. Okay. It's consistent. He's going to just probably try and space you. He's not like a numbers where he's not going to try and interact for the whole game, but he's going to try to keep himself in range that he feels he is comfortable. And then Devin, I'm sure, can speak to this, um, being that, you know, they play a whole bunch. That Dill is going to play just out of your range. And as Rob, his fair is actually slightly disjointed, so he can play out of Palu's range pretty solidly. And we are going to be seeing this stick to the Palu. I think Jen is just more comfortable in this matchup than he is versus the Fox. And, yeah, uh, well, I mean, we were discussing it before, man. Yeah. Like he just, he doesn't want, he doesn't want to deal with like Rob shenanigans. Trying yeah. to be up close and personal and, with this and, character. And keep in mind, uh, Fox a lot lighter than Palutena, um, and a fast faller. So he's gonna be dying off the side really early. Mm. If you know Dill gets one of those good strings that we know Rob for in this game, Jen's just dying at like thirty percent, forty percent. That's right. Oh, Nair, oh. looking for fair. Okay. 
I mean, th that was pretty good spacing coming from Dill. You saw him like kind of drifting back and forth, avoiding whatever follow-ups that Jones trying to opt to go for offstage. Yeah, what you lack in hitboxes with that move, you pretty much gain in mix-ups because you just have the ability to stall midair, keep yourself in a position where you don't really have to commit too hard. Again, it is kind of open if the, if the opponent reads you hard, but otherwise, you have a decent amount of mix-up with that move. He's up on block. Jen doesn't respect it. Gets in there. Yeah, opting to go for those uh, nice. dash cancel down tilts. Trying to apply the pressure to his shield. Maybe try to go for a shield poke instead. Great cross, cross up, up, but unfortunately, dashing into an up smash out of shield. Dill taking away stock number one. Yeah, Dill's not really going to let you get away because dash is, again, as good as dash is in this game, it's still as committal as four, if not more committal. So, Jen, or rather, Dill's going to be aware of that, and he's going to be clicking a fast button. Up smash is pretty fast off the ground, and I'll take a stock for sure. Gonna dunk him again. Follow yeah. up. Good up air covers so much, so many options on that ledge. I mean, the ledge is like a perfect like length for Rob. Ooh, that's a whole lot of damage. Gyro into the nair. Zen already at 78%, nearing death percent. Detail looking for a trip, not gonna get it. Man, these trades for Jen are just not working out for him. Ooh, gosh, could not get the bear. However, the fair right there hey, take the stock. There you go. That's all you need. Take away that second stock. Still sitting at 84%, but nair one nair trend could. Oh, we try to get the follow-up, but the yeah. gyro is in the way. Fair. And Paladin does have the buttons to keep Rob at a certain distance. Obviously, Dill's going to try and play that game to himself. But uh, Paladin's buttons are just a little bit faster, so he's going to be able to get away with that. Up there. Off smash. No, you can mash out of that that percent. I'm yeah. pretty positive. You, you, No, you absolutely can. I stole. Okay, you're going to be able to get there. Got a lot of gas in that tank. Fair. Once again, no jump. Gonna go off. He does. This is good stage control coming from Jen, but then he escapes. It yeah, goes for the drag down up air, not plus enough uh, on hit to get Dill in advantage. Oh, almost caught that. That was scary. Yeah. I, I thought for sure he was going to run into that rotor arm. Yeah. That's another damage and more stage control for Dill. Definitely not a situation that you want to be in. I love the fair right there by Dill to get back into the stage, and he has been rewarded for it heavily. Grab Clank. He's just going to cross him up with the neutral air instead. I like the the evasion coming from Dill. You see him like just running away wow. with these back airs, fade away back airs. Got to respect it. Puts him into the ground again. Gonna get that's that up tilt. Confirm. Wow. Beautiful by Dill, and that's a stock. Yeah, up tilt up airs are confirm at that like 90 ish. Dude, so, like part of me thinks that Jen could have mashed out of that. I think you can. I'm pretty sure at. Mm, 80, I I I watched John 80, numbers. 82. He did. He did. Okay, you just couldn't get out in time. Okay, no, so that's just the 50 50. Oh, he did. because he went for the up tilt. Oh, yeah. that's what it was. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, the, 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 the other option is up smash. Because Rob up smash is crazy strong. So that's.